Yes, sir. Hey, hey, man. Now you know we started something. We got to. We got to. You know we got to. Uh, we got to. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna take you out of it. I gotta. I, I just, I just made a little comment, you know, and uh, you took off from there. No, no, no. Hold on a second. Let us review. Let us, let us, as we let us review the facts. Okay. First of all, we established that that that, that I'm I'm ADOS, but I call myself ADOS International because you know I can't. I'm not affiliated because I live in South Africa and I'm stuck here with the COVID. I'm associated with the New York ADOS, but you know they they give me leeway just to talk to them. But I, I can't because I'm never in one place too long. Right now, right now I'm in the basement of a. Let's call it a. No, I can't say under location. That's someplace in New York. Any rate, the point is right that you, you know I'm I'm what we call a a a a witness um, a witness traveler. You know what I mean? That's all I am. You know, that's all I am. Okay. And we also say the ADOS, but we're not looking for. Well, ADOS is not looking for. I'm not speaking for them. You can go to the website, you no know, ADOS one hundred one dot com. But what we're looking for is not. Uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, not. Not faces, you know, not not you know, just uh, some celebrities, something like that. What we're looking for is policy, right? ADO is just mainly when you when we're dealing with because it's my political head. So when we're dealing with something, we're looking for we're yeah. looking for somebody who's going to do the policy of ADOS, which is what it is, like right, that website. Okay, now we got that established, right? We're not going to veer from that. Sir, are you there? Are you listening? This boy here. Yeah. Oh, okay. You got all that. Are oh, you doing five things at one time? What, what's that? What you got on? What, what, what you what you listening to? Oh, that was. Uh, I was watching this clip of a basketball game from last night that my team lost. You see what happens, man. See, this is the problem. Let me see what they do, right? They give you bread and circus, you know what I mean? With the sports or whatever have you, they got you doing that. Well, you're not doing your research. We got to do our research. What do we establish? We establish that that. More, more than likely, this is my conjecture. I'm not going to drag, drag you into this. More than likely, that the, the logical person to be the vice president for Joe Biden would be Susan Rice. Okay. Now let's we did a little bit on Susan Rice. Let's let's continue. Okay. Let's leave let's leave her husband and that whole thing alone. Uh, alone, you know, the Canadian guy, whatever. Let's leave that alone, right? We're going to leave. Let's not leave. Wait, I heard something about. No, no. Wait, let, let's let's go on from there. Let's let's go to her. Um, what do you call that? Her, her, her lineage, her, her lineage on a, on her, on a, on a, on a, you know, a, on a mother and father side. Where, where did mother and father come from? What you got on that? You know, what you got on that? Are you going to Wikipedia? Where, where you, where you research? Uh, well, You're my I, research I get person. To my bed and get on my computer. Well, <laughs> I, I told you yesterday. I said her grand parents on her, <laughs> her maternal grandparents were Jamaican. I don't care about that. I want you to now, go. Now, now, if you go to what her parents were, oh, I got I got to do that research. Pa oh, parents man. means mommy and daddy. Okay, that's it means mommy and daddy. Okay, her, her mommy, her mommy's were grandparents were from Jamaica. No worries because that's way back in you know the early nineteen hundreds. You know the, the early twentieth century, and more than likely, ADUS says if you got here before nineteen sixty five, then you probably exist. You you probably experienced you know some part of ADUS, which would be which would be well Jim Crow, at least Jim Crow. If you don't go back beyond that to antebellum to you know to slavery, right? But but if you were here before nineteen sixty five, then more than likely you was somehow in the struggle. Okay, we got that part. We will be straight with that one. Are you are you moving to your to your computer? Okay, All right, hold on. let me turn it on. Gee, gee, man. Oh, man, I can't. I just woke. I just woke up. Man. Hey, look, a researcher never sleeps. <laughs> this is research. This is serious research, man. We. we, we this, hey, the, the country depends on this. I want you. To, the country depends on your research. We got to get a jump on this. Why we got to? Actually, we don't have to get no jump on it because it don't matter, right? Because whoever the boy pick, you know, what I mean, they still. Let's. We got to find out if they're going for reparations, and we're going for reparations some other time. When I say reparations, I don't know, just mean some money. You know, what I mean, you got some other stuff. But first, you got to acknowledge that you know, hey, you know, this country, America, America. It's my American. I got American flag and the other thing. I got a little American flag in my bag that I carry around. I need to get that because we're American, and, and America owes ADOS a, a big. They got to schedule the debt. 
That's what they got to do. You know what I mean? But that's neither here. We're going to deal with the politics right now. With Uncle Joe Biden, <laughs> he American. He's so American that he did a lot of stuff to lock up a DOS. <laughs> and and we don't. And you you mentioned several uh, police chiefs. Well, what do police chiefs and and, and Kamala Harris and prosecutors do? They lock up Americans. So we're not dealing with them people. <laughs> <laughs> that is police chiefs, <laughs> uh, pros prosecutors. Nah, if, if if you spend your whole life doing, hey, what, Joe Brown said this. Judge Joe Brown said this. If you spend your whole career locking up people, what does that say? You know what I mean? Couple, yeah, you know. So 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 he, she out. We not we ain't even talking about that girl. Okay, or well, that Brahmin, I should say. I shouldn't call her. Yeah, we ain't talking about that Brahmin. Okay, now come on now. Hey, do, you're doing a journalistic thing. I hey, see so you. You don't see this, but I got on. Uh, my uh, Ida B. Wells rendition. Talk about Joe Brown. Um, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, 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 br Brother Ron. You know, he, he used to have Joe Brown on all the time. No, he has all Joe Brown right now, yeah. And, uh, and, and he, so anyway, he, he, does this he did this rendition, a painting that he put on a T-shirt of Ida B. Wells, journalist. You know who Ida B. Wells was? Never mind. I'll yeah, tell you. I, I said no. Yeah, of course. Okay. She was one of the original journalists, you know what I mean, like that. Be before there was Eye of Stone, it was Ida B. Wells. Da -da. That's what that's what tradition Eye of Stone is in. He's in the Ida B. Wells tradition. That's what we say. Okay. So what we got there? In fact, this is, you know. Oh, man, I'm, I'm having trouble trying to find uh, something with my computer. I'm trying to find, like, Lord. you know, the... Uh, you, you, the, 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 you know, the... the, the what kind of research? My laptop is like, you know, everything is like in the wrong place. Like, man, what, what happened overnight? Or what, what did, night? Yeah, what happened overnight? Uh, you know, what? what I mean, I, I had a little night juice, but man, what? what <laughs> oh, man, what's you know, up some, with my computer? You know, for man, this, for this seems like I'm going to have to do something strong myself. So let me get something strong right now. I got it right here. It's pure... <laughs> Pure pomegranate juice. Pure pomegranate. That's what they say here. Let me say this. Ingredients. Bio, 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 bio dynamic organic pomegranate juice. That's the ingredient. That's what they say. I don't know if that means. You know, when I first had pomegranate juice, it was in um, Cape Town. And the real pomegranate juice, you could, it don't look like this. This don't look like real pomegranate juice. I don't know what kind of pomegranate they get from. But anyway, that's the stuff is good for you. You're not supposed to drink a lot of it either. When you have pure pomegranate juice, you only let me. You only supposed to drink. I mean, one no more than once a day. You only supposed to drink like maybe half a glass. A real to about real pomegranate juice because this sucker is sucker strong, man, and it's good for blood pressure and a bunch of other things. In fact, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, pomegranate juice. are like ooh, it's strong, man. You know, it's like it's like. Now that I've discovered, well, I, I guess maybe that's a positive thing about Whole Foods that they've, they've brought like a lot of healthy foods to the American consciousness. Because, like, man, I like what pomegranate juice, real cranberry juice, black cherry juice. Oh, I'm like, wait a minute, this tastes nothing like the stuff I grew up on. Like, wow, this is spit it out. Like, where did this come from? What, what, what is this? Let me tell you something about pomegranate. Here's the thing. You know where pomegranates are prominent? In Afghanistan. Right along the... You know where they could grow poppy seeds and make heroin? They can grow pomegranate. But there's more profit in, in making heroin or poppy seeds that make heroin than pomegranate, which will cure your cure a bunch of your stuff. This is stuff. This stuff is strong. You can only drink half of... Oh, man. I got to put it in the refrigerator. I usually... Before I open something, I, don't, I drink it straight out. The, you know, I don't refrigerate it. In fact, let me... Let me put my glasses on so I can be incognito because I know the information you're going to give is going to get somebody in trouble. And I don't want them to know who I is. So I'm going to put some... Yeah, for some reason, yeah. I can't find my speaker. Oh, my gosh. What, what, what did I do last night? Oh, my gosh. I can't find my speaker. Living that dangerous life, man. What's the matter with you, man? You dangerous know? life. Staying at home. Staying at home. Yeah. Well, I guess that's nineteen. I it's guess nice. it's dangerous to go out with the vid. The vid happened. It's dangerous to go out, but you know. Oh my gosh! I mean, you, you know, no, seriously, my, my speaker is like my my it's, life blood, my music. It's been, it's been less than twenty four hours that we talked, man. On the floor, I can't find it. I excuse me, Mister Researcher. 
is less than 24 hours that we talk. What did you do within 24 hours that you can't sit back on the computer? Well, you don't know. You don't need your speakers, man. Just get on the computer. You're going to relate the information. Yeah, I'm on my computer, but I like listening to like when I, when I l listen to your rantings. I have my speaker on, man. I what? can't find my speaker. <laughs> oh, I got it. It was just in a awkward space where everything I have is like black on my my tabletop here, and it oh, just blended in oh, with all the blackness. You're, you're, you're in the black room. Oh, do, do you have a black light? Man, are you going back to your funkadelic days? Come on, hey, let me let me let me ask you that. Yeah, but I've never I've never lost my funkadelic days, and I think that's the issue with <laughs> on my Facebook. All you talk about is the funkadelic, funkadelic, funkadelic Prince Parliament. Yeah, okay. those guys. Are, uh, okay, so okay. all right. Now I can relax now. Okay, you okay, can relax. So there's an article I read from about a, a week ago, and someone says Susan Rice could bring a lot of baggage as Biden's. Mm. Now we where well, we went, but well, let's okay. before we get to the baggage well, part. Okay, well, yeah, okay so we, we want to go back to who her parents are. That's All right, right. Let me see if I can find no. something here on her. No, yeah. we, we 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 did. No, we're, we're trying to do her mama first before we do her daddy. Okay. Now you already you want said to, you want to do the mom first. Okay, yeah. so the mom's name is Lois Ann Dixon Fit Rice. Oh, she's got like five names. Okay. Well, you do. Let me tell you something, man. You do know that that whole hyphenated name it started with black people right after slavery time. The people didn't hyphenate their name, but you know it, it started with that. And you know the other thing I can tell you from traveling that we. we when you do that hyphenated name, they actually do it wrong. I shouldn't say do it wrong, but the but the Latinos, the Spanish, do it better because what you happens, you're supposed to have, like you know where you, you know who your mama is. You came from that 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 womb, so you know that's the mama. That should be your last name. The daddy, that should be that should be your like the 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 next the the, the first of the hyphenated name. So let's say your last let's say your let's say your what, what was your mama's last name before she got married? Huh? Lindsay. Okay, so your name should be uh, Nelson Davis Lindsay. Nelson Davis hyphen Lindsay. Because we know who your mama is. Okay, we assume <laughs> that Davis was your daddy. But, but, I'm not saying, you know, not, not, not you personally, like, like that. You see what I'm saying? So it's actually more accurate to, to have your last name of your mama. That way, all the children don't get all confused, you know, because, you know, if you are Jones, that means, oh, you, that, and then a bunch of Jones, oh, you may come from the same mama, so you got to be careful. You see what I'm saying? I just wanted to throw that out there. You know, but, but, okay. You know, okay. So, okay. Susan Rice's mother. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, what is this? She was an American corporate executive, scholar, and education policy expert, uh -huh. known as, quote, the mother of the Pell Grant, because of her work lobbying for its creation. Lord, hold on. Come, wait, hold on. Don't, don't, don't rush this. Pell Grant, you know how many people, you know, was affected by the Pell Grant? That's some bona fides right there. Okay, but she's born, she was born in the States, right? Yeah. Okay. Go keep keep going. Pell Grant. Okay. Keep going. That's that's good. That's, okay, that's yeah. a I'm, I'm, I'm a Pell Grant. Uh, I'm a Pell Granter. Um, there you go. Okay. She was born in Portland, Maine. Okay. Ooh, Maine. Maine. Ooh, Maine. Black person in Maine. Maine. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Her her parents were immigrants from Jamaica. Okay. Okay. They um, ended up in Maine. She was a, she, uh, she was a graduate of Portland High School in Maine. Mm -hmm. In her yearbook, she was the yearbook editor, student council president, and valedictorian. In most Maine? Likely, likely to succeed. Oh. And most valuable female in her class. What? According to oh. you know. Susan, wait a second. Hold it. You, Susan Rice's mama was in Maine, like, yeah. and she was the head of what that doctor did. What? She got, that's more than bona fides. That's like a, what do you call it, the trailblazer and that stuff? Okay, go ahead. What else is happening with her? Okay, so her parents encourage her to pursue higher education. Of course. Now, if she's, if she's a, uh, 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 what do I want to say, uh, a person from Jamaican parents, it's like, yeah, okay, so Jamaican, she has the no, American Hold on, hold on, we don't know, we don't know the father yet. We just deal with the mama's line. You understand? 
So so all right. so so, all so, right. so what's the mama do? She 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 she's the most valuable. Whatever she she she, 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 she she How does she how does she do this Pell Grant? Who does she work for to get this Pell to, to, to be the mother of Pell Grants? So let me go to. Um, she earned her bachelor's at Radcliffe College. Um, Rad- Radcliffe Hold on, College wait a second. That's important. Radcliffe Radcliffe is where all the, all the, all the, all the white girls, you know, the, the the people, you know, all the people. Like the, the 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 you know the the rich okay. white women and and politicians go you know white the, the the female ones go go ahead what else Radcliffe go ahead okay she was elected to Phi Beta Kappa and would later be a trustee okay a Radcliffe oh, yeah. yep really um, she was a Woodrow Wilson Fellow at Columbia and has honorary honorary degrees from both Brown and Bowdoin Bowdoin College. Bowdoin, Bowdoin, well, well, Bromwood, but whatever. Go ahead, yeah. Bowdoin, it's a uh, B O W D O I N. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know where it is where either. That? Okay, that's in. Uh, but we, but we okay, know. So it's a but Brown is I believe. College in, in Maine. Okay. Okay. Okay, and in '59 she joined. She joined the college board and was a longtime member of the. Well, she was a longtime member of the college board, um, college which is an American not-for-profit organization that was formed in 1899 to expand access to higher education. Oh, whatever. Okay. okay. So education important. She did. Uh, oh, wow. And what else? What else she okay. do? Okay, so in 1972, when she pushed for the creation of the Basic Educational Opportunity Grant Program, later renamed the Pell Program. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay, so again, yeah, she's known as the mother of... um, Okay, what else else did her mama do? Um, Early in her career, she directed the National Scholarship Service Counseling uh, Services... um, Okay, whatever that is. Good. Keep going. What else? Okay. She served on school boards with Madeline Madeline Albright. Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. You said Madeline Albright. Didn't didn't yesterday did we do something that like like somehow what, what was it? Susan Rice was was uh, yeah, Susan uh, Rice. Me, I, I said yesterday Madeline Albright had recommended Susan Rice for uh, whatever position. Okay, so there's a connection. Okay, keep going. This is interesting. Keep going. We got to because you know it's who you know. That's why you go to those schools like 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 you know like Radcliffe and 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 Brown and and whatever you know because you to make those connections. So she made the connection. Plus, if she's the only black person, she's going to be noticed, and she's doing all that the distinguished stuff. Okay, keep going. What happened? What else happened? Okay, so according to the Wall Street Journal, she was among the first wave of black women serving on boards of major U.S. corporations. There you go. Hey, but you know how that, now, he, now here's the thing, here's the thing, what they won't say, is the reason why she can serve on those boards is because we had, remember in the 60s, we had those urban uprisings, and that caused those people to say, oh, what do the Negroes want? What do the Negroes want? And then they started finding some Negroes to put on these boards, so they got the most, so-called most qualified, or the ones that came, came through the education system. Now, I'm putting it down, I'm just trying to say, they oh they still owe it to those that that street action but but go ahead. Uh, okay, she served on boards such as Firestone, McGraw Hill, uh, controlled yes. at a corporation. She was also a trustee of the Urban Institute and the Center for Naval Analysis. Naval Analysis. Yeah. Hey, wait a second. We're, we're Air Force, man. We, that's a that's 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 a that's a mark against that's a mark. Well, I guess that's that's, that's removed. Okay, okay. No, no, no it's all right. Okay. It's all right. We'll, we'll let that one slide. Go ahead. What else? Under Clinton, she was a member of the, of his Foreign Intelligence Advisory Board. The mama. Yep. Really? All the mama. Yeah. Well, didn't the daughter come in under Clinton too, Susan? Uh, yeah, yeah, but we're not talking about the daughter right now. Right, you okay. want to research mama. Yeah. So wait a second, if she did that, that means she's, she's, what they, cause she's a, an original neocon. The mama is an original neocon. Okay. 
She got Nia Klein in in in, what's, in in the lineage there. Go ahead. This is interesting. I gotta take another drink. <laughs> she was on. She was also on the boards or councils of UNUM, U N U M, uh, which I'm saying it's a group that was in. Um, it was a Tennessee-based Fortune 500 insurance company. Uh, insurance. Oh. Uh, uh, okay, go, go ahead. That's money. Yeah, keep going. Bank, Hartford Steam Boiler Insurance Company. Oh, Thanks. My, oh my gosh, I have too much stuff. To she was a member of the Carnegie Council on Higher Education. Oh, education, banking. Wow. And, and at Harvard, she was the chairwoman of the visiting committee to the African American African American Studies Program. Um, she was a senior stupid. vice president at uh, Control Data Corporation. Uh, hey, that's too much already, man. That's ladies on the mama's side. company's interface in federal and state government public affairs and policies. Okay, so she was um, she was married to Emmett J. Rice, and I guess we'll get to him. That's the daddy. Okay. Well, let's go to um, him now. We got enough for the mama. Hey, people could... Hey, the mama's too much already. Just with the mama's bona fides, you know, Susan's like... In there, she in there. Woo. <laughs> okay, what's the daddy? Go go to the daddy now. I'm I'm through with the mama. That's all right. We the mama's all right. We now you know the mama's the mama. You know what I mean? And you, and, and you like you said, you owe a debt to the mama. Wasn't for the mama, you wouldn't go. You can go to college. There you go, Pell Grant. Okay, so Emmett John Rice was a governor of the Federal Reserve System. He was a Cornell University economics professor, an expert in the monetary systems of developing countries, and the father of President Barack Obama's national security advisor, Susan E. Rice. Okay, so he was born in South Carolina. ADOS, okay. Okay. Uh, no, go back to that, that reserve body thingy. What? what uh, I guess you get to. No, no, no. Keep on going. Keep on going. I'm sorry. I didn't want to stop you. Go ahead. I can't get to reserve body. And so this this is reminiscent to my my oldest closest friends here, whose mom came from Jamaica mm. and married a, a American. Um, yeah. And, and, and even though they have Jamaican roots, they they have no love for Jamaicans because because they have being born here or raised here, they they've told me stuff like Nelson. You cannot believe the the stuff that you know our Jamaican relatives say about Black Americans. So they 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 identify themselves more as Black American than than Jamaicans. Okay, yeah, but I, I, I don't want to get into that because that's, that's the, I don't want to get into divisive. That, that, that's okay. individual. I get you. I understand okay. that, and that's true. Blah blah blah. Hey, man, you know, when, 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 look, my earliest memories from from three to six years old, I was uh, I was in foster care and I was abused by a Jamaican. So, I, but I have no animosity against that because this woman was, you know, she wanted to pay for a house. So, me and me and okay. my brother were just. So, I'm I'm not I'm not I, I have no. Keep on going with the with the daddy. Leave the, okay. Um, he attended segregated schools before his family moved to New York when he was 16. Oh. He studied at, oh, my old school, CCNY. Okay. Mm -hmm. that you know what that means? No, no. You know what that means? The same school that uh, Colin Powell went to, CCNY. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. we, know we, back, we, we don't know. <laughs> if we, he didn't go at the same time. But here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. Remember, CCNY back in those days was free college. Mm. But even in his time, he proceeded like Colin Powell, who went, yeah. you know, got his college free. Um, I, 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 had, I had to use a Pell Grant when I got in school. Yeah, but I, but I think that I think that Colin Powell was a me member of the ROTC. I think he's a member even the, of the Persian Rifles, which is, a, I think he's a okay. member of Persian Rifles, which is an elite drill drill team for ROTC. I, but I'm not really sure about that, but I know he's, I know he's ROTC in, in, in um, you know, Whatever the you know ROTC and in and, uh, and CCNY, but keep keep going. Oh man, as I see, oh he's got some bona fides too. Okay, so uh, he got his degree in 1941 and an MBA in 1942. Um, he, he joined the U.S. Army Air Force in World War II, serving with the Tuskegee Airmen. Whoa! What did you yeah. say? Really? Oh, he Air Force. 
us. Okay, we with him, man. Okay, go ahead. Hey, Susan, come from Lineage. She might be a neocon, but hey, she got good stock, at least on the daddy side. Go ahead. No, no, I don't know. Wait a second. He's the, he's the banking guy. I'll keep going. Let me, let me hear what else. Okay, after the war, he earned his PhD in economics at the University of California, Berkeley, and was a Fulbright scholar in India. Ooh, wow. Ooh, so he traveled a bit. He integrated the Berkeley Fire Department as a student by becoming his first black fireman. Mm. What? Oh, this is too... Yo, talk about pedigree. Talk about pedigree. I don't, that's a big word. I don't even know what it means. I think it has two E's on it, something like that. So that word... So, I, 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 at this point, I gotta, I gotta think that, yo, she, she's got she got to be the one over Kamala. She, she's got to be the, the one. Okay. So he next taught economics at Cornell as the university's only black assistant professor. He later served as a governor of the Federal Reserve from 79 to 86. Oh, where this is trouble, so Okay, so they got some economics um, um Experience. No, but she stay on both sides. She, 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 she need. She got from. She near. They're like pre neocon. You know what I'm saying? On both sides, she's neocon. And and what? what and like uh, uh, not Bill Clinton. So yeah, the Clinton straight through the Barack Obama. They all neocon man. They be making war and 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 doing the financial system. So you know they're rigging it so that you know blah blah blah. Oh, go on, continue. Oh, do continue. I gotta hear this. Okay, from 64 to 66, he was a deputy director, director um, then acting director of the Treasury Department's Office of Developing Nations. In, from 66 to 70, he was U.S. alternate executive director for the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. So basically, the World Bank. Right. Ooh. Keep going. Uh, in 1970, he took leave from the Treasury Department to be executive director of the Mayor's Economic Development Committee for, for D.C. Okay. Um, he was appointed to the Federal Reserve Board by Jimmy Carter. He was the second black member. Um, I, see what it, I see what's going on. Uh-huh. Oh ho 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 ho! Was Volker right after the 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 the, uh, the Iron Rand guy, uh, uh, whatever that guy is, uh, the 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 Greenspan? What fuck the fuck was that? Anyway, oh yeah yeah yeah, great Alan Greenspan. Yeah, yeah. I agree. You know, did you know? Let me tell you something. Let me give you some BAI information, man. You know, Iron Rand used to be at BAI. Well, you know, same time Malcolm X was. They had programs, whatever it is. But you know, uh, uh, Greenspan used to be like a lapdog around her. You know, <laughs> around around Iron Rand. Just a little facts. I'm just. Uh, this is what I know for real. But go oh, ahead, man. Keep, keep, keep going. It's Ayn Rand, not Iron Rand. Okay, sorry, man. Go ahead. Well, maybe, oh, you know, well, maybe you know, maybe I, I've never really. <laughs> Heard the pronunciation, but it's Excuse me. Can I, can, I, can, I, can, I explain, can I explain something to you, Mr. Researcher? <laughs> I had to, not that I had to. I I start. I, I read her her novels. You know what I mean. The you know the Fountainhead uh -huh. and, and you know Atlas Shrugged, right? But before that, the reason why I was so I, I I understood her is because she wrote this incredible play. You do this this play. It's a play about. Um, about a, a what do you call that a, a, a trial jury and the gimmick it was a Broadway play the gimmick was that the jury was picked from the audience right Bas basically I went I read all the Iron Man all that stuff like that and I look at it as like a, as a hack novelist I don't I don't this great thinker I don't know what they where they come up with that from I don't know what they're thinking you know what I mean but I know as really as a playwright it's a great play by the way and great great convention how they did it but anyway. Uh, you can say it's Iron Ram, but it's all right. You can say it the way you want to say it. I'm not going to argue with you because you're doing some good research here or some good whatever. Go ahead. What else happened in there? Uh, that's pretty much it. He passed away in uh, at 91 in, t in 2011. Wow. In the, uh, Man, talk about bona fides. Talk about lineage. Talk about pedigree. 
Man, she got it all. You'd be a fool, man. <laughs> You're right. There's no way you, you. There's no way if you look at at, at, the, at the at the pedigree, and we, we and, and, you know at least the mother and the daddy. What, what this man? If you look at the pedigree, how are you going to take the 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 Brahmin over the ADOS? There's no way. You can't do it. Oh, the fix is in, man. Somebody's put somebody's boot doing some some really slick tap dancing. The only way they can do it is that they actually want they actually if the only way they, this can happen is they can pick they actually want Biden to really not have a chance and for and for Trump to stay in so they can you know keep on sharpening their knives or whatever they do. I don't know. Politics is got kind of strange. So look, oh. yo man, as <laughs> oh lord, oh I don't know, man. What what you think? Only her, her, okay, so her father was born according to this 1919, mom was born in 1933, so he had uh, a good few years on her. Yeah, but he's a finance guy, man. So you know how those finance guys are, you know, hey, you get, <laughs> she she married, you say she married, but she she had it going on anyway, so I don't know. I, I can't comment on that, you know. I I don't comment on on like you know you don't know where love is what the, the relationship was what what the arrangement was you don't know what marriages are different marriages are, are, are believe me marriages are, are marriages and you don't know what's going on so I don't really I don't really deal in that thing I'm just dealing with the facts and this this pedigree so far this whole Albright thing this whole Jimmy Carter this this Bill Clinton this Obama this is all neocon man this is pre neocon and neocon so no matter what we're gonna stay in a neocon mode with this. Wow! Make war, make war, and manipulate the economy. That's what that's what neocons do. Neocons make war and manipulate the economy to their benefit. That's all I can tell you. That's what I know. Well, yo, man, I want to thank you for 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 shedding light on this. <laughs> I guess we had, look the the, down, the downtrodden in trouble no matter what. So. I'm I'm still writing in ADOS up top, no matter who. Even if Susan come, I'm writing in ADOS up top. I'll deal with everything else the way it is. All right. All right, man. I'll call you back later. We talk about some other inane things. This was important, you know. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> later. I learned, I learned some things myself here too. Uh, okay. All right, uh, later, man. Take care. Be all safe. Right. All right. You too.